wearing it Saturday morning about uh, 44 degrees cold slight wind no sun so I'm wearing my winter stuff and I'm getting ready to go for my walk this morning to talk with God and last night this morning he was talking to me about love so I have an idea of what's coming so as I go on my walk and God talks to me further I'll turn on the camera and I'll share with you what he says wow it's unbelievable what God's saying today um, he's showing me that that we love that we love the world's way that if somebody doesn't meet our standards that if somebody isn't um, have the same interests we have or doesn't behave in a way that we think is good or um, is um, <laughs> that somebody I don't know who would be at me or if we um, they don't have uh, something that we share in common common interests or if we don't have a um, share oh, God just got me all messed up here the things he's saying to me it's awesome um, our love on earth is dependent upon someone else's behavior if their behavior is right <clears throat> if we have common interests then we fall in love but if our interests change and our behavior changes we fall out of love that's not love God is showing me that love is patient it's kind it's not selfish, it's not easily angry, you don't have temper tantrums, you don't act wrong, rude or unbecoming, you're not selfish, you rejoice in the truth, you hate the lie. And God told me something that made me practically burst into tears and something else. He says, he says, my kids don't know me. When he said my kids don't know me, I, it's like, oh God, I'm so sorry. And, and I just was crying because he said, my kids don't know me. He says they think I'm an evil stepfather. They think that I put sickness and disease on them and, and to get glory or to humble them or teach them. They think I killed their kids because uh, I wanted glory or, or when, when a storm happens, even the insurance calls an act of God. The world thinks that God's the bad guy. And he said, my kids don't know me. The world don't know me. They think that I'm the bad one, that I'm the one that causes the bad stuff in the world to happen or even allows the bad stuff in the world to happen he says my, my kids just don't know me and I had to cry because I see it around when I witness the people they say well if it, I don't want to serve a God that does all this that made the world like this and he didn't but that's what he was talking to me about love he says he brought me back to a scripture that said, uh, that I always wondered about, it says that um, when, in the resurrection, when, uh, that this woman married seven brothers, and whose wife would she be when she died? And he said, you don't know the power of the resurrection. She won't, you know, you'll be like the angels. And I always wondered, what in the world does that mean? Well, God showed me today what it meant. He showed me that in heaven, we love each other, not because of our behavior, and not because of what we do in interest, but because of who's in us, because Jesus is in us. We love them because of who we are. We're God's kids, not because of their behavior. So we're not going to fall in love with one person over another person, because we're going to love everybody. And that's, I believe, what he was sharing with me. What we meant was we would be like the angels. We would be loving everybody. The trick is, if I could learn to love people like God loves people. There's a scripture that says that um, that Jesus would not judge people by the hearing of his ears or the seeing of his eyes. And, and that's the scripture I want to confess because I don't want to walk in love with people because of their perfect and their personality fits mine. They're, I don't want to look at people and say, I don't want to minister to that one or do that one because that one is dirty, stinky, or that one is way overweight and, and has greasy hair or or that one is um, um, just not very lovable or fits my personality. I don't I don't want to I don't want to be like that. I want to see people through the eyes of God. I want to love them because they're God's child. Not because they meet my standards. And that's my mission and my, my goal. And it's exciting to me to begin to understand a little bit more about love and, and, how, and how it works. And also to see the analogy of in heaven. And uh, I'm just going to meditate on this some more. And, uh, and that's it for today. You have a good day. We're out.